I am afraid of heights. The tallest trees are about 50 meters tall. They are huge. <laughs> so I had all this whole process before and I spent 40 days learning how to climb trees. But after that, I really enjoy it. And nowadays is one of my favorite hobbies. I am <laughs> looking forward to go back to my field. I'm studying the vertical variation of photosynthesis in Amazon forest. The big picture is to try to add one more piece of evidence of the need to contain climate change and also for some countries as my country Brazil or other tropical countries to uh, assume a leading role in the decision making to take care of these areas that we consider important. And my part of the work is to access the canopy and measure the leaves. I use a device that was developed here at MSU in the David Kramer's lab. It's called the Multispec. In Amazonia, with this instrument, I am the first in the world. This instrument can provide me one data set that is very difficult to get using other equipments or other instruments that we know that are heavy and big. And I'm taking this to a next level to doing a more complex ecosystem. It's one of the extreme forest places in the world for an instrument because it's very humid, it's very hot. With a high diversity of species that is also another challenge. The forest is dynamic, we have bees, we have animals, we have snakes. This is important because we need to have better predictions of the carbon, the CO2 exchange between the forest and the atmosphere. Things are getting worse and climate change is going fast. So we have some evidence and what we don't know is if the forest is gonna have time to adapt itself to these changes or if these changes are going to happen so quickly that the forest will collapse. If that happens, the models point to a savanization of Amazon, which is not good for human beings at all. And I hope we can turn this scenario and try to give more values for what is real important.